All right, guys, quick little rant here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and all that good stuff. Now, I'm talking about Terrence Buck Crawford once again, the undisputed, newly crowned, undisputed 147 pound champion, and Canelo Alvarez, the 168 pound undisputed champion. Now, you guys know Canelo Alvarez is going into a huge fight uh, the end of this month, uh, September 30th to be exact. Uh, he'll be taking on Jermel Charlo. Uh, the undisputed champion at 154 pounds, uh, the smaller of the two Charlo brothers. He's jumping up two weight classes, daring to be great, trying to put himself in that elite class of Clarissa Shields and Terrence Bud Crawford, uh, who were the first to become undisputed in two weight classes in the four belt era. Uh, hats off to both of them. If he wins this fight against Canelo Alvarez, uh, he'll be in that class, that that elite class as well. Now. Despite that fight happening this month and people talking about that fight, which, you know, I'm excited for that fight. I, I really want to see what happens with this. Uh, people have been talking a lot about Terrence Buck Crawford facing either one of these guys. And, and we know that Crawford said that he would fa he would go up to 168 to face the winner of those two. And there's been a lot of talks around in that. People saying that he's crazy uh, to try to go up to 168 pounds. And now... We're hearing Canelo Alvarez come out and say that, you know, Terrence Buck Crawford only has one good fight on his resume. And of course, that being Errol the True Spence Jr. And I had to shake my head at that because we've heard this time and time again in the buildup of the fight uh, to Errol Spence Jr. You had a lot of people on YouTube spouting that out there that Terrence Buck Crawford hadn't fought anyone. Who has he fought? You know, you had a lot of YouTubers doing that. And then you even had a lot of the uh, boxing fans uh, repeating that narrative. And I discussed that in, in a previous video about Terrence Buck Crawford's resume. I talked about him, you know, having a solid resume, fighting a myriad of different styles. There's, you know, there's nothing that this guy hasn't seen in the ring. And, and here's the thing to think about. If Terrence Buck Crawford hadn't fought anyone up until Errol Spence Jr., how would a guy like that fighting mediocre competition be able to uh, destroy a guy like Errol Spence Jr., who was a three belt champion, may I add, and also known as the boogeyman of the welterweight division uh, for a while? How was he able to destroy Errol Spence Jr.? Now, I know people are going to come up with excuses, but he actually dismantled Errol Spence Jr. He took away his best attribute. He was outskilled, outclassed, outpowered in the fight. A guy with a mediocre resume is not going to be able to do something like that to a guy like Errol the True Spence Jr. So I beg to differ uh, with Canelo Alvarez when he says that Terrence Buck Crawford hasn't fought anyone. And here's the thing. Uh, ordinarily, I would say a guy talking about jumping up three weight classes to face an elite fighter like Canelo Alvarez, like Jermel Charlo, I would say that's crazy. I would say that is nuts. I would say that that's a long shot. But we're not talking about an ordinary fighter. We're talking about an extraordinary fighter. Let me repeat that. We're not talking about an ordinary fighter. We're talking about an extraordinary fighter in Terrence Buck Crawford. He is the creme de la creme. He is the best fighter in the, on the planet. And I'll repeat what he said on his Twitter. Skills win fights. Weight doesn't win fights. Skills win fights. And we've seen a lot of smaller guys beat bigger opponents in the past. I don't have to mention it, but I will. Uh, Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, smaller guys beating bigger opponents. I think Terrence Buck Crawford... Jumping up to 168, uh, and he could possibly defeat either Jamel or Canelo Alvarez, in my opinion. He's just that damn good, in, in my humble opinion. So I got to totally disagree with what Canelo Alvarez is saying. Uh, some people are saying he's using that as a ducking tactic. I won't say that yet because, uh, you know, I'm not sure if he's going to duck Terrence Buck Crawford. He's got a big fight coming up. We're just going to see how this all plays out. You know, maybe Jamel might d defeat uh, Canelo Alvarez. We just don't know. We can't put the cart before the horse. Uh, 
but it's exciting times in boxing so let's let this all play out but like i said i do differ with canelo alvarez on terence Bud crawford's resume he has a solid resume and canelo has a solid resume himself but uh saying that he's only fought one elite fighter i i, I think that's i think that's crazy talk but anyway you guys let me know what you think about it in the comment section uh what do you think about terence Bud crawford's resume is arrow the only big fight he's had on there uh how do you explain him uh defeating errol spence jr so easily if his resume was so weak you guys let me know how you feel about that in the comments section it's the cmb i'll talk to you guys in the next one and i'm out peace